This is Nap Nasworth with the Christian Post, and I'm on a video call with Dr. William Jaynes. And he is professor of education at University of California, Long Beach, and also a fellow at the Witherspoon Institute at Princeton. Uh, and he's recently written a book, School Choice, A Balanced Approach. There's the cover. All right. So we have here a lot of data, a lot of information, uh, a lot of studies. This is a, a really good resource for anyone who's looking for uh, a lot of information about school choice or uh, education. Uh, anyone in the policy arena, it's a, it would make a really good resource. And so, Dr. Jaynes, uh, so what, what's, what's the main finding, what's one of the main takeaway points you got from doing all the research you did for this book? Well, the book largely surrounds a meta-analysis uh, that I did comparing uh, faith-based schools to uh, traditional public schools and also public charter schools. And it's really the first meta-analysis done of its kind. And let me define for your viewers what a meta-analysis is, because I'm assuming most people don't, don't know. And don't feel bad if you don't know, because again, most people don't. And what a meta-analysis does is it combines all of the studies that have ever been done in a particular uh, discipline on a particular topic, and it seeks to have a sense of what the overall body of research indicates. So it gives a statistical synopsis of what the overall body of research indicates. So that's why they're so powerful. So rather than look at individual studies and conclude, well, this one indicates the direction is this way, that one indicates the direction is the other way, it gives you a, an overall sense of the body of research. And so it's very popular, especially among government officials and academics. And so really it's the first meta-analysis that's ever been done that included uh, charter schools and this is very significant because uh, over the last 20 plus years that has been the thrust of any attempt to have school choice in our schools. Uh, the debate uh, before that was basically well do we include faith-based schools and so forth but the decision uh, especially under Clinton and that really has continued ever since then is that rather than include faith-based schools for the most part we're going to go the public school choice route and that's where charter schools have shown phenomenal growth. There are nearly 6,000 of them now nationwide and they're forever growing and so it was significant that this particular study included charter schools because okay if this is the route that we have decided to go as a country is that the wise route is it producing results and this most significant finding of the study indicates that students uh, at uh, traditional public schools uh, do about the same as those at charter schools so in other words there's really no difference between students who attend public charter schools versus traditional public schools and so it really isn't getting a very good report card, at least covering these first 20 years. And so that's really the most significant finding. And uh, it leads to the question of, well, might a better school choice program also include faith-based schools? Right. And so what did you find about faith-based schools? And uh, there was a very significant advantage, uh, generally speaking, just under one academic year in terms of uh, academic achievement. In other words, students at uh, faith-based schools, even adjusting for uh, socioeconomic status and race, they performed uh, at about an academic year ahead of students both in traditional public schools and public charter schools.